So on Sundays, you would often look, see the empty Texaco parking lot and there'd be three police cruisers and a police motorcycle parked there. And if you went down into the basement, um, which was not a huge basement, it was, it, but, it, but very much a tomb, you know, like big heavy duty cast concrete walls and a crawl space. Um, there was a, uh, basically a shooting and drinking event going on down there. I mean, it was crowded, right? I mean, there was, there was like a lot of guys down there. <laughs> the one and only time I was invited down, you'll love this. Um, I'm standing there. I'm, I'm, I'm about, I gotta be nine or 10. And the boys are all treating me, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it'd be like a kid wandering into a pro hockey team dressing room. They'd all, hey, kid, you know, and they'd rub your, you know, they, they'd uh, ruffle your hair and all that stuff. And everybody's treating me nice. The, the target for the, the, that they use is on a clothesline and it's, it's deep in the crawl space where he's placed a, a, an iron plate at 45 degree angle. And the target hangs in front of that and the bullet goes through the target, hits the plate and goes down into to the sandy floor, right? And they're all wailing away and, and laughing and stuff. And, and so I'm standing there and somebody hands me a pistol, right? Like my finger's inside the trigger guard and the pistol goes off. Everybody stops, right? Because there wasn't any, you know, you're supposed to go back behind the line when somebody's shooting. And these guys were all in front of me, right? I mean, it's just a, it's just a miracle I didn't shoot somebody. They all look and then they, and they're, they're, there's a little kind of, you know, there's that undertone of kind of, uh, you know, like disapproval. And then somebody looks at the target and they see there's a bullet hole, not on the circle on the target, but through the corner of the paper, right? There's a bullet hole, right? And hey, you got, eh, and everybody goes, oh, buddy, you know, <laughs> hey. And somebody notices and says, what, what's that? And they look up on the ceiling and there's this dust falling from the ceiling. And they look. And from about six feet out from where I'm standing, there's a long, long groove cut in the ceiling until the groove hits a piece of that BX electrical cable, the stuff that's wrapped in metal, puts a big dent in it and gets deflected down and hits the target. It really went crazy. <laughs> they all know how crazy that was. <laughs>